Hey guys, it's Mr. Diamond. I just want to give you a quick talk here about the history of oceanography. History of oceanography goes back way back. Uh, it's broken down into three periods, essentially. Uh, when we go back and we look at the early times, well, we had three groups of explorers that were really important at this time. We had the Paleolithic and the Neolithic periods, along with the Egyptians, and then the Phoenicians, which were terrific traders. Um, we'll go through this and take a look at the early times and move through. Uh, the early explorers and traders were mostly ancient civilizations, which we look at about 1500 B.C. to 500 A.D. Um, they had a good interest in the oceans, mostly because of trade. I mean, that's why they wanted to do. They needed food, and they wanted to be able to trade with other people. So they began to explore these oceans and make their way through. Uh, the Egyptians and the Phoenicians, uh, you see where the Egyptians were very well known for their shipbuilding. Uh, and very good a lot about navigating along the coast. They were really good about that, up the river, the Nile. Uh, the Phoenicians were terrific sailors as well. Uh, worked in North Africa. They probably even circumvented uh, Africa itself. Uh, the Arabs were also good explorers, mostly the Indian Ocean, however. And then the Polynesians, which were terrific, terrific sailors. And uh, they did the Pacific. And you imagine the Pacific being the biggest ocean, and they explored a good majority of it. Uh, with the Phoenicians, uh, you see the Phoenicians uh, worked in the 6th centuries. Uh, they were mostly dominant in the uh, Mediterranean Sea, and they established a lot of trading posts. They worked in Cyprus, uh, mostly through Italy, North Africa, uh, Spain. They really got around. They maybe even traded with the British. Uh, you can see uh, with North Africa is where the Phoenicians were, most all of the Medi Mediterranean. Uh, you can see that there's the Black Sea, then all the way up into England, way up here into the north. They may have got that far. We're not 100% sure, but we think they may have even done that. Um, well known around this area was the Pharaoh's Lighthouse. This was in Egypt, and it was a large, early on, one of the uh, seven wonders of the world. Huge lighthouse that they were able to show where Alexandria was. And so people sailing from Egypt to Greece could go back and forth and be able to use this. Um, they know that this actually existed. However, it's at the bottom of the uh, sea right now, but uh, they know it's there. Uh, the ancient Greece. The Greeks were also sailors. Uh, they, of course, were very interested in knowledge of the world. Uh, they had Aristotle, 350 B.C., and you can take a look at some of these others. But the big one here I want you to make note of is Aristophanes. Aristophanes was also a sailor. He sailed from Greece all the way to uh, North Africa, where he was able to actually come up with his ability to, and use his mathematics to figure out the circumference of the world by sh using the shadows. And he did this in, in Alexandria. Uh, this kind of shows a little picture of what he did. We'll study Aristophanes later in detail. Uh, but what he was able to do is he noticed that how his shadows at certain times of the year, and one well would be at the very bottom. Uh, but it only happened a couple of times a year. Well, this gave him a tip off as to how shadows would grow, and he used some of his mathematics later to be able to figure out the circumference of the world. This happened in Alexandria, and really it happened because of his ability to navigate the ocean, and it helped a lot, giving them the idea that the world was probably round. Um, of course, we have the myth of Atlantis from the Greeks. Uh, Atlantis has never been found. Uh, may have been a volcanic eruption that made it sink. It's supposed to be a very advanced civilization. Uh, not sure that it ever existed. We just haven't proven that yet. Uh, but uh, we do know that in Homer's Odyssey, uh, he speaks greatly of this. Uh, here's Santorum, one of some of the islands that we saw around the Mediterranean Sea. You can see it's almost the center of the Mediterranean. Uh, it's a possibility that this big hole was where Atlantis was, but there's no evidence of that. All right, the Polynesians, the explorers of the Pacific. These guys really got around, and they do have, they did some wind sailing, but they're really known for their toboggans with the two different bottoms there, and they would really get around. Um, they were able to handle wave action. They used bird flight to be able to navigate, because you think about it, if birds are out in the middle of the ocean, there's got to be land somewhere. They're not just floating around out there. They have to land. They used the stars, and they understood atmospheric pressures and conditions, and that's how they were able to catch the wind and navigate so far. I have some good pictures of some of the sailing canoes that they used. You can see they had a little house on there. This is the range of the Polynesians, all the way up north to Hawaii, going way down to New Zealand. 
uh, all the way out to Easter Island. That's right off the coast of South America. So they really got around. This is a huge, vast expanse of ocean. Uh, this is one of their maps. Um, I don't know how to read it, but it's a stick map that they used. Uh, they were able to navigate throughout the ocean, the islands and where they would go, and they all used it on this big stick map. Uh, they migrated from Asia uh, down through into their homelands, and then, of course, some more, and moving on to all that big Hugh range I showed you earlier. All right, so in the Middle Ages. In the Middle Ages, which is considered from 400 to 1400 A.D., this is in Europe. At this time, could you please send freshmen with the last name starting with N? Yeah, it's Rosa. 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 Now, this was a period of extreme superstition. Uh, they had a fear of intellect. Uh, that was a big deal with the church. Um, they just didn't want people to explore the world. This is where we really thought the world was flat. Uh, the Europeans did anyway. Um, but we know that, of course, probably the Felicians probably knew better. In the Middle Ages, we had the Vikings, the Arabs, the Chinese did some work, and, of course, the Europeans. Uh, the Vikings were very well uh, known for their northern Atlantic exploration. Um, in 1405, the Chinese sent 62 ships to explore the Indian and the Pacific Ocean, so they did a great deal of exploring there. The Vikings. Uh, the Vikings are probably the discoverers of North America. There's evidence to show that they did it probably 500 years before Columbus even did. So our Vikings were probably the discoverers of North America, um, at least when we turn in a European sense, uh, most likely the Asians had migrated there prior to, and that's where the Indians came from. But the Vikings still accomplished this great feat in a, during an ice age now. Think about that. Uh, there's a picture of the Viking longboat, famous boat, um, well-known, and they did a lot of sailing with this, conquered a lot of lands here, including Britain. You can see this is their exploration land uh, coming from Denmark, all the way out to Iceland and Greenland, and then down into North America. This took them several hundred years to do, but it was accomplished. Um, the Vikings probably knew of the Inuit Indians, uh, which are what we call the Eskimos now. So, very interesting, well known. Uh, Ptolemy. Ptolemy was from Greece. And he came up with this world map, almost 5, 1500 A.D. If you look at it closely, it looks very realistic to the Mediterranean Sea, Indian Ocean, but doesn't go much past the coast of Europe. So we know the Vikings were out there first. Here we go from uh, Cook's explorations. This is what we see a lot of the European explorations from Hudson to Cabot. Uh, Columbus, of course, who landed in the, the Americas and called it uh, the Indian o Indians. He thought he didn't even really know where he was. He wasn't in North America. He was actually in the Indians. Drake and Magellan, who sailed around the world first. Uh, the early Chinese, and of course the Europeans, some of the other Europeans that did it was Columbus, uh, Magellan. Uh, Okay, guys, so that's usually that's the early voyages and the Middle Ages and the early times. I'm going to have you read uh, in your book, Cal. So you need to get your oceanography book, and you're going to have to read pages 2 through page 12. That's going to give you another overview of some of the sailors through this period, some of the early oceanographers like Benjamin Franklin, actually. So we're going to take a look at that. Uh, I want you to read that, take some notes, and from that point on, we'll have some assignments to go with that. So check it out.